If you've ever lost data on your device, or if you've even lost your iPod device before, it's definitely a bad situation because you don't have access to that information. Now, if you made a backup to this device, or if you've used iCloud before, or even if you have the device but it's damaged and you don't necessarily have the ability of interacting directly with it, uh, we have some options to be able to recover your data. I was contacted by a company called Tenorshare recently that provided me a copy of a software for review uh, to be able to recover data off of an iPod device. Now, they do support other devices. They support Android devices. They also support iPhones and iPads. So today we're going to focus on the iPod program, which should work similarly to the other ones that they had. Let's check it out. First thing we want to do is go directly to Tenorshare's website. Under Data Recovery, select iPod Data Recovery, as we're going to use this tool to be able to restore data from our iPod. You have the Windows version that pops right away as I think it recognizes that I'm on a Windows PC, but it does have the option to go for a Mac right here. And it gives us a few scenarios of why you'd need this tool. One of the main ones that really does apply to me is that I've lost the device uh, in the past. And of course, my current version of the device has some issues with it on the touch screen. So it does work for this as well as other issues when you're stuck in boot loop, uh, some setting issue, you've locked yourself out of the device since you haven't been able to put the password correctly, many different scenarios on the device. There's three ways of restoring. We have the data recovery directly from the app itself, from the device itself, uh, using a backup, which is really good. And I'll show you guys how this is also compatible with iPad as well as iPhone uh, backups. Of course, iCloud options, which is if you're using iCloud to back up your data, this is great. These two options are great if you unfortunately lose your device, as this will give you the data that you last updated. Uh, of course, here it gives us a list of the different files that it's able to back up or restore at least. And also it mentions that it does try the best to to give you the best quality, no loss of quality on the pictures. So if we launch the tool itself directly, you're first greeted with the tab that says scan the device. I do have my device plugged in. It tells me I have an iPod Touch 4G, first generation, and it also gives me the information as far as what I can do here, it says start scan. Um, if it was an unregistered copy of the software, meaning it was a free trial, you can try it out. You don't have to buy it right away and see if you're able to use it. If you're able to use it and you see that the data there is valuable, you're able to purchase it. And there's a link here in the back. I'll link you guys a little bit up. You can purchase it for the, for the retail price. I do have a coupon for you guys in the video to be able to get another 30% off. So please check the description below. And once you do that, you'll be able to basically restore the data. Uh, we'll go ahead and go through here, and this is basically the option just to do is that you say start scan, and it'll go in here and it'll scan your entire device and give you all the different data types that it's able to do. I'm going to say stop right now, mostly because I want to jump into the next level. Yes. And then we'll go into the next level. I'm going to say yes. Here is the ability for us to be able to actually interact with the backups. Now, it interacts directly with iTunes backup, so it locates the files. It tells you basically the serial numbers of the device. You'll notice here this is three different backups of the same iPad that I've had, but this was a while back, as you see here, in 2013. And I do have a recent update backup for the 2015 for the iPod Touch. So I'm able to go back here and select this one, which is the earliest of all my thing, and I say scan. It'll take it and it'll scan it right away as it was already on the hard drive, and it breaks down the information with the way it was. I can look in here, I can see the different videos, the different pictures that I've had, and it does restore pictures from everything, so please be aware when it says 882, it's not 882 directly of your, your videos. Last but not least, we have the ability of inter interacting with our iCloud account, and that gives us the ability to restore data directly from it, um, and that's really the best part. Now, uh, just to kind of show you guys how it works and what it does, uh, I can go back into the main system and we'll go ahead and say start scan now again. And this is a live scan of the device itself. It gives you the name of the device, uh, the version of the software that's on it, as well as the serial number, just to make sure that you are aware of what you are trying to restore. And we'll give it a little bit. It's usually pretty quick. It's not that bad. It tells you to go pick up a cup of coffee, but I don't think it's worth it. I think you could just say, wait for it, and it'll give you the data that you need. Once it's complete, it says scan complete, please select your files. And you see here that it recognizes contacts, messages, SMS messages, uh, and it uses notes, Safari, calendar, reminders, um, again, app videos, and then pictures as well. And you're able to scroll through them to see basically what you want to look at. And of course, photos. And of course, there's also app documents as my wife did have some documents in there. And then once you want, what do you want to do at that point is if you want to restore, you select what you want to do and you say recover. And it goes directly in here and creates a folder for you on the desktop. And it's under Tenorshare iPod Recovery. And it says Vanya's iPad or iPod. And then you'll see there's a time and date of the actual recovery. So today is 831 at 
that's the actual timing. So if I do date modify, you'll notice it's right here. I can open up the folder. App video is the folder, and it just generated all the video. It's still restoring right now, and it's you can see some of them are my son's pictures and different things that are downloaded. As you guys saw, the software is pretty simple. It breaks it up in three different tabs, and it tells you exactly what you need to do. Uh, there's no jailbreaking required. There's no modification. There's anything to the device itself. It's perfect if you ever shatter the screen or the device is just not responsive. Like let's say the home button is dead or the power button is dead. Because as you plug in an Apple device directly to your computer, it powers itself on specifically if you have iTunes turned on. So installing the program and running it is pretty easy. Uh, I was able to recover a lot of pictures on this and the beauty of it of course is even if you delete things by mistake, you're able to go through and try to uh, recover some of that data. As you know, deleting is not always a permanent process on a, a lot of these digital devices. Uh, so it's always possible to be able to recover some of that data. And with the hands-on that I showed you guys, I was able to pull almost all the pictures off of the system that I deleted in the past. Uh, it works great with backups and I was able to recover something off of my iPad backup. That's a device that I haven't had for years, but the backups were still existing on my computer and that works really well for me. Uh, the other thing, of course, is if you use iCloud, it also has the ability of interacting directly with your iCloud account to pull some of that data. As Apple's main requirements in the recent years is that you have to have the device connected for it to even give you access to it. But if you try to sync your device, let's say with a new computer, you have to reset or you reformat your computer, you have to reauthorize information there and you cannot, and I'm saying this the way it is, you cannot transfer the pictures that you have on this device to your system because it recognizes that this was not synced with it before. So this software will circumvent that and will give you the ability at least to save your data and not have to worry about having to go through so many different steps. I'll give you guys a link in the description below for a coupon to be able to save some nice dough, uh, I think about 30% off of a license for this. And then I'm also going to be doing a giveaway in conjunction with the company uh, within the next few days. So keep an eye out for that giveaway and we're going to be giving out a free license to the iPod recovery software to a lucky winner on my channel. As usual, like and subscribe to this channel. Let me know if this is the type of videos that you guys are, are interested in. I know this is one of the first iOS-based reviews I've done here on my channel before, but this was something that kind of hit close to home as uh, this is my wife's iPod. So it's something that, you know, we, we dropped it, we damaged it, and I need to be able to recover my data off of it. So, and I was able to. Thank you, Tenorshare, for providing me this copy for review. As usual, again, like and subscribe.